Hi everyone, Steve here from Imperial Light and Magic and I'm just doing this video as a demo stroke tutorial video for the person that's purchased this Padawan 360 and dome servo system. Uh, the dome servo stuff is all my own work. Uh, the Padawan stuff, credit goes to Dan Krauss for um, the software on there with a couple of little tweaks by myself. So just to take you through it, um, this is currently running off a 12 volt LiPo and that goes up to those black and red wires to a set of connector blocks at the back which will give you a common uh, ground and a common 12 volt or 24 volt rail if you wish. This system will run quite happily at 24 volts with no changes. It doesn't require any additional um, circuitry or uh, alterations. So the Padawan 360 stuff is absolutely standard and is per all my other instructional videos and builds and it's working absolutely fine. The addition is obviously the um, servos. Um, you're not getting the servos but you are getting everything else uh, apart from the servos and those uh, 3D resin printed um, dome panel hinges. So the bits you need to know specifically to the uh, dome hinge stuff uh, and I will kind of tidy all this up for you but you're going to be obviously needing to run up into uh, your uh, dome so you're going to be using a slip ring for that so this component here which is an Arduino Nano uh, that will focus that's the brain that's driving the servos so the multicolored ribbon cable this one here that I'm pointing to now goes off uh, I've put a connector on there for you as well. All the colors match up, so make sure colors uh, go to colors if you need to unplug this for anything. And it goes into this little distribution board that I've made. So the distribution board, uh, that's where your five servos plug in. As you can possibly see, I've tried to go one to five with a little arrow. Uh, as far as which way round you plug them, because obviously servos have got uh, three different colored wires, the right hand side, if we look at it from this way, you can see I've put a black stripe down on the side of the, um, the PCB board and you'll notice that the black wire on both of these two connectors, sorry, I'll try and focus that, goes to that right hand side and the red wire effectively is running down the middle of where the servo wires, which means that the orange wire is going to be your signal wire um, or the signal pin if you like. So make sure that when you plug it in to your servos, you plug it in this way round. Okay, so your ground or your common is on the side where the black stripe is, uh, and that should do it for you. Okay, so um, this this little thing here, this is powering that board and your servos. I did originally try to power it through the saber tooth, but it there's a particular part of the animation that just draws a bit too many amps and it trips out the uh, saber tooth which therefore trips everything else out so i've had to run its own power source which is this thing here so right at the moment this wire here and i'm just using this this wire just to sort of uh, demo it and get it all working is running into the back of the 12 volt distribution and as i said it doesn't matter if you run 24 volts this will cope with 24 volts as well. So whatever voltage you decide to run this at, this thing should cope absolutely no problem at all. So following on logically, so we're getting 12 volts here, goes into that, gives us five volts out. So the five volts is going into this little board I've made. And then we're tapping five volts off that board via this plug here to power the Arduino. So this is now running at five volts through that little widget and that's where it's getting its power and also that's where the servos are getting their 5 volt power so basically everything upwards is running through this as far as power is concerned so you need to obviously get 12 volts up into your dome through your slit ring to power this and therefore that um, the only other two wires you need to add into your onto your slip ring are this one here and oops, trying to do it through the camera, this one here. So the black wire in this case is running into pin number six, which you don't count the first pin because that's zero. So where there's that empty space there is zero. Then the orange wire is one. Uh, two isn't used. So we've got uh, three is the gray wire. 
hopefully, oh, I'm not really focusing on very well. So the grey wire there is number three, and that goes off in also going to go up into your slip ring and end up into your Arduino on into this Arduino Nano, and that's going to go into pin D2. So you can possibly just about make out that that's labeled up down the bottom there, and that is in fact D2. So D2 is your trigger from that. Sorry, uh, yes, D2, that's right. Um, so that's the trigger that f makes this fire off its animation. So the black wire, which is going out of pin six on the uh, Uno board over there, is going into, down here, the the, the wire, the black wire, I'm just using the black wire for, because uh, that's what I had handy. That's going into the black wire, which is between the ground and the five volts, and that is labeled up R set. So if I just try and focus that, or RST, I beg your pardon. So that's RST. So basically what that does is when you trigger a certain combo on the on the controller, it resets that Arduino, which puts everything back into its default sort of positions. Um, so let me show you how that works. So I've already got the controller uh, connected. So we've, we've got all our sounds and everything. Oh, just also to mention to you when you get it on the amplifier, which is this thing here, this, uh, that little terminal there, or that little white thing there with a the cross, that's your volume control, your master volume, if you like. So uh, adjust your volume by turning that. I've got to turn really low at the moment because it's, it's very, very loud. So I'll show you on the controller how the uh, animation works. So push, uh, push and hold the left shoulder button and tap up once. And you'll hear the music starts. And then it's currently just waiting for that music to get to a certain point, and then you'll see the servos start to move about now. And off they go, they do their little animation thing. Which is all nice and lovely. So as I say, I've got the volume turned right, right down at the moment, mostly because I'll get a, a copyright strike on the video otherwise, but uh, it does go super, super loud. Um, if you want to stop the animation, simply hold the shoulder button and push down. And all the servos snap shut to where their uh, shut position is. Obviously, you'll have to uh, spend a bit of time adjusting all of that with your servo controllers and things, uh, with your servos and the horn positions and the length of your push rods and all that sort of stuff for how you're going to do your panels. And that's about it. Um, if you need me to uh, go through that um, in, in, with you when it arrives, then I'm more than happy to do so. But all you have to do basically is just replay this video back. Um, so again, just for clarity, into this widget, you need to supply inwards 12 volts or 24 volts, which you can get off these two connected blocks here, okay? So those two things were the orange flip up things. That's where I'm currently tapping off my main voltage, okay? So I've got main voltage going into those and we've got, so I'm tapping from that white pair of wires, 12 volts out. Um, so that makes sure that we've got common ground as well, because this panel here and that board and indeed the servos need to have a common ground. And we have got that at the moment by coming through uh, the white wire and into, into that little block. That still keeps us a common ground connector. So that's why that's all working. Whew, I think that's about it. Um, right, let me get this uploaded to YouTube and I will get that off to you today. Well, it won't be today, but it will be probably on Monday now because of the uh, weekend. Uh, they don't send post, unfortunately, here where I live at the weekends. But uh, I'll get it all packed up and answer any questions you've got. Cheers. Bye.